Hi, my Kayla crew, welcome back. So today I've got a wantable box to share with you. This is my style edit, so let's dig in and see what's inside. We're gonna jump right to the try-on, so hang on. Okay, so this first top has the signature Kayla. Yeah, can you see that? I'm trying to cover it a little bit. <laughs> Problem, gaping, bummer with button down tops. Okay, so it's by West Key. It's a floral three quarter sleeve tie front border top in navy. Size 14, $58, 100% polyester. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to hold it closed because it's a pretty, well, it's a pretty big, it can be a pretty big gape depending on how I move. But it's a bummer because this top is so cute, isn't it? I love this top. The only thing I don't care for, the tie front. I don't care for that, but I could probably tuck it under or even tuck it in because I really love this top. But you know, I can't purchase this top because of the gaping problem. Bummer, but look at how pretty, I wanna come closer so you can see how pretty the print is. Isn't it gorgeous? I love that. I love the colors of this top. Now, I feel like this is a top that you could wear throughout the fall, but it's also a top that I could wear in the summertime in this, well, more like spring. Really pretty, you know, put it on with some white pants and make it a little bit of a lighter colored outfit or for the fall, like I said, wear with your darker colors, but I'm wearing my white pants through the fall and the winter, and I know a couple of you are too, so. What do you think? I mean, should I try to size up now? My friend Monica over at Cranky Grandma, she suggests getting petite sizes. So I'm wondering because petite, you know, it does fix the gaping problem for me because the top fits well otherwise. It's just in this area here. So, hmm, yeah, can you see that? I'm sorry that I'm holding it. I just, yeah, big, <laughs> big holes here. All right, let me show you the back. So I'm wondering if I should size up or if I'm still gonna have that gaping problem. Sizing up might make it too like baggy. I almost fit like the top fits well. It's just this area here. Three quarter length sleeves has a kind of a tab sleeve on both sides. So I really like this top except for the problem here. Bummer. Ugh. I don't know what to do. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the camera down. We're going to talk about the jeans, which I think I'm going to keep. I know. All right, hang on. Okay, so the jeans are Dex jeans. They're the skinny jean with released hem and indigo. Size 16. They are $80. But boy, are they comfortable, and I think they're cute. So on me, I think they're more of a high rise. Yeah, I changed my top so you wouldn't see the gaping. So I'll come closer so you can see the released hem, or I'll try to zoom in so you can see the released hem. I think it's a really cute look. I really do. What do you think about them? They kind of have a little bit of that like lighter wash too throughout like the thigh area. I have to watch back and look in the mirror to see how I like that. But they're a perfect length. And when I find a perfect length jean that fits up here too, it's very hard for me to pass it up. And I know I've said many times I don't need any more denim, but it's so hard to pass up a good pair of jeans. So what do you think? I really like them. They're so comfortable too. Yeah, I like these jeans. I may have to keep them. So I'm going to see if I could zoom in. And then if not, I'll show you in the recap close up the hemline at the ankle because I think it's super cute. All right, let's come back up and talk about the top. So hang on. Okay, so I have a brook on the side of my house right and on the other side of the brook there's a school an elementary school and it's like seven o'clock in the morning and they're doing yard work i'm like really i'm trying to tape a video <laughs> all right so let me talk about this top so this top is by liverpool it's the tie front tank with seeming detail and light sage size 14 42 dollars oh my goodness i forgot the percentages but it's cotton and modal i want to say it was i'm not even gonna try to guess let me look let me look before i totally screw this up huh <laughs> all right let's talk about it while I'm looking so the tie front is a no right look at how many tags do you see this <laughs> I'm like it's like flipping through a book <laughs> okay 59 cotton 41 modal that was almost gonna be my guess okay now I don't like the tie front I'm over that look I think the color of this tank is pretty cute though what do you think um I do like the neckline of it it does have the seaming detail down the front but I just don't care. For, like, I just want to tuck it in so we don't see it. Yeah, no, I don't care for the look. Just like the first top. What's up with them sending me tie front tops? Now, I do like the first top a lot. Um, you know, I think this would be a nice top minus that. 
I like the length of it. It feels really nice. I think it fits nicely. It's a very unique color. I like the sage green color. I've been into greens a lot lately too. So it would be a good layering piece. Like I could put my cardigans over it, but I'm not going to keep it because this will drive me crazy. Otherwise, I like it. Let me show you the back. So yeah, this one's going to go back, but it is cute from here up. <laughs> right but then you see this and it's like oh gosh they ruined it yep all right i'll be right back with the next piece okay so this next tank is by west key it's the floral net cami in red floral it is 96 percent polyester four percent spandex and it's 42 dollars extra large so i think it's cute i was just watching barbara over at bc cells this morning i can't remember which box she opened i think it was a stitch fix and she received like a tank dress and i'm like why would they send a tank dress in summer and now i get a tank to open <laughs> and try on myself so it's just very off season but it is a good layering piece i just don't know I, you know it's very low cut and i don't really pull for pieces like this too often because even when i wear tanks like this for layering pieces you gotta wear a special bra because if i get warm and i take off my top you know gonna see the bra straps I kept my regular bra on I did not change it does have a wrap style the front has an elastic band here the back is a little bit longer which you'll see when I turn around I do like the red colors of it the co red colors the red color of it um and I do think that the black and white floral print is pretty can you see that so I do like the print a lot um I just don't know I think I wish it had like a thicker straps so I could wear a regular bra and then I'd be more likely to pull for it. Let me show you the back of it. Yeah, so I think this is a no, but let me grab, so they sent me a denim jacket. Now I don't need a white denim jacket, but they sent me one. So this is by, let me just see, by Cut From The Cloth. It's the Helena denim jacket in optic white and it's $89. Is there a size? Hmm. No, why wouldn't there be, why would there be a size, Kayla? <laughs> Oh, it says size 14 to 16, so it must be an extra large. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, the buttons are covered in that paper. Oh, bummer. I'm ruining it because I know I'm not going to keep this jacket. I probably shouldn't. I should keep it nice for the, for the next person that gets this jacket. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> I didn't ruin the paper. It's still there, so I'll keep the paper nice. So I do like this jacket a lot. I knew I would but I don't need another white denim jacket. I have one, I don't need two. The one that I have is almost identical. I actually think, maybe it is identical. Yep, I might have this cut from the cloth jacket, <laughs> but it's cute. It's just a white denim jacket. It actually looks nice with the red top underneath. What do you think? So it does button, have the, I think there's, yeah, there's silver buttons. I'm not gonna take the paper off, but it has paper all the way down to protect it because it's new pockets here it's a good length I never okay sorry I thought I saw Lexi going on the pool cover so I stopped really quick yep dangerous <laughs> gotta watch her that's why I have to be outside with her so anyway I do like this jacket a lot and I don't wear my I don't know where I left off but I don't wear my jackets like this I'm not gonna take it off just because I don't I'm not gonna keep it but I usually unbutton and then just cuff them I like that look a lot better let me show you the back of it Okay, it dawned on me. I left off saying I don't button my denim jackets, but it would fit still if I wanted to button it. But I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna send this one back. Okay, let's move on. I have a couple more pieces to show you, so hang on one second. Okay, I've got the last two pieces on, and boy, am I a comfy, cozy fall Saturday. That's how I feel when I'm wearing this outfit. So let's talk about it. So the cardigan is by Cloud10. Oh, I like that. It's the Thermal Waffle Cardigan in Burgundy, extra large, $54. I forgot to look at the material, so boy I'm dropping the ball today I can't find the tag I'll list it below because I I don't want to be fumbling around looking for the tag so I love the color look how pretty the color is and look at the waffle knit you can see that I love this color especially in the fall look at this detail elbow patch sleeve now I know the elbow patch sleeves are not for everybody I actually like them my favorite part is that usually they don't hit me at the right spot usually they're like down here or they're up here yeah, this one I think is pretty perfect. Spot on. So I do think it's cute. What do you think? I like to put like the same color booties to kind of pull the outfit together, but I have the leggings on, so I wanted to talk about those. What do you think about this cardigan? It's so soft. It's so comfortable. Do I need another 
does it have pockets? No pockets. All right, that's okay. But I do like my cardigans to have pockets. Do I need another burgundy cardigan? Probably not. <laughs> do I want one? Yes. <laughs> so it's cute. What's, oh, no, it doesn't have pockets. I'm like hoping there's pockets that just miraculously appear. Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about, let me show you the back of it and then I'll talk about the leggings. So hang on. So I do like that it's a longer length too. Like I said, don't I look like a fall Saturday? All right, let me turn the camera down. We'll talk about the leggings. Okay, so bad idea to show you the leggings with the cardigan. So I have to hold it up so you can see what the leggings look like. So the leggings are by Maddie M. They're the legging in black, $48. So they're very comfortable, but I will say they're super, super long. So you probably will see, I tried to like tuck them in a little bit at the ankle and this one's po like pulling a little bit at the ankle. So they are long, but they're super comfortable. There's not much to say about them other than they're just a black legging. I really do like them. They're not too thin either. At least I don't think they're too thin. Um, so I'll see when I watch back and see. Uh, but I think they're super, whoops, and I'm backing into the chair. Um, so they're super comfortable. I don't know if I need another pair of black leggings. I mean, we could always use another pair of black leggings, right? $48 though, I guess you're paying for the quality. The quality seems like it's there. I just don't know about the length. I'll have to see if it's too, too bad. But anyway, I think they're very comfortable. All right, let me come back and we'll do a quick recap. Okay, so I can't knock the stylus because look it, it looks like I requested that light sage green top. See that heart? Could have happened. So what I mean by request is Wantable has a stream and you can go on, you can request things, you can decline things. And if I see something that I know I'll absolutely love, I'll hit request. And if I know that I won't care for it, I'll hit decline. I guess I hit request. Could have happened. Well, I guess it did because it's on there. <laughs> All right, so you know, I like that top, but I just don't care for the tie front, so it's going back. I wanted to show you the hemline of these pants. Let me just see if I can get it folded. There we go. So I think it's cute. I wanted you to see it close up. I really like these pants, these jeans a lot. I know, I've been saying I don't need any more denim, but I did clean my closet out. I did purge. A couple of you were asking if you could see what I purged. So I'm gonna try to put together a video. If not, I'll just kind of talk about it as I'm going through my newest clothing boxes i did purge some jeans some older jeans so i have a little bit of room i know shopaholic justification huh at its finest so i do really like these jeans and i don't have anything in this headline so i really i think i'm gonna keep the denim the other thing that i know i said the leggings were too long i can't take them off i love them they're so comfortable i may end up keeping the leggings too hmm i think the pants were the winners in this box it was a good box but I have the denim jacket already. And the only other thing that I really loved, but has the fit issue with the gaping, is this top by West Key. But isn't it so cute? And it looks cute with the jeans. But yep. Now, I don't know. Should I try to size up to a 16 or should I just pass? Hmm. I really like this top. Really, really cute. Love the border. Love the floral print. Love the colors. I just love it. I just don't know if a size up, I'll probably still have the same gaping issue because I have to remind myself I need to get the petite sizes. So I think the pot, the bottoms are the things that I'm gonna keep. Let me know what you think. I do like the cardigan too. I just don't know how much I'll pull for it. So I have a couple burgundy cardigans. I don't really need another one. So I think I'm gonna be strong and send it back. So I think the bottoms are gonna stay. Maybe try to exchange this, we'll see. All right, so thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well. I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section and I will see you in my next video.